What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of For the King. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. Ah, that Spellbane shield. I might actually buy that for my for my warrior for Dupree. Before it disappears, I'll probably buy it. So that's 26 gold gone. There's not a lot of stuff here. I mean, there's another suit of leather armor, which I think would be really, really good. It'd be a smart purchase. Slap the other suit of leather armor either on Leomond or Dupree, and it would probably work out pretty well. The war pick is also a really, really good acquisition. And frankly, we'll have time to like pass stuff around here. Oh, really? A pipe diffuser gives you the skill party heal. Huh. So basically, you could put a fan on the side of your bong and just be like... <laughs> and just like, when you exhale, everybody gets heals. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get the war pick too. Because he'll swap that out for the sword, because I think the sword is 12 and that's 14 and it gives him a bunch of speed, so... I like it. You could also go with the Great Torch if you really, really wanted to, but I don't like weapons that can break. I've had really, really bad luck with weapons that break. I sincerely have. Uh, we can get rid of the Heavy Bow for 4 gold. Traveler's Tunic I don't think is going to help us out much in the future, so I'll get rid of that as well. Hide Boots are 114. We've already got those on, so it doesn't matter. That's about all he can do right here. It's about all he's going to be able to do. As far as the quest board goes, what do we have going on? So, Cazelli's Watch in the Golden Plains. There should be a Jester over there. We'll get a Carnival ticket. Or we can get 48 gold for the Frost Crag. Definitely can't kill a Frost Crag right now. So we might as well not even try. At least not without losing like half the party. Um, we can go to the Moldy Marina and return a Love Letter. Might work. The Sanctum of Focus in the Rogue Isles. Frost Crag in the Plains. I'll probably go for that one. Or whichever one. Where's the bounty? The Frost Crag? No, I don't want that. I suppose I'll take the XP quest. Why not? It's subpar. It's not exactly what I wanted, but sometimes you don't get what you want. Oh good, he got good movement. Fantastic. I actually really, really needed him to get good movement because he's got to play catch up with everybody else. So on this side, he's going to step forward by one. He's going to manage his inventory. He's going to give the Spellbane Shield to you, give the War Pick to you so that you have both of those. And then in addition, he's going to hand off all of his gold to you so that you have a much better stockpile to buy shit with. Then we only really have to make it down to the Moldy Marina... So I could do a portal destination over there. Or I could put a portal destination right here. Oh, I thought I was going to get to do both the entrance and the exit. Oh, shit, that was a waste of one. Okay. So I learned that the hard way. The portal is on wherever you're at. Alright, well, that was a waste. It's okay, though. Uh, with a vision scroll... Let me see what's going on over here. Wow, there is all kinds of stuff to accomplish here. I don't think we're in super solid shape to fight like five forest trolls at the same time without some backup. So instead, I'm just going to burn up his movement trying to get random events and clearing out map spaces. You, sir, are really not going to do anything this turn either. Instead... Equip the Spellbane Shield. Equip the War Pick. At the Town Market, you are going to sell an Old Leather Helm, a Crude Club. I'm going to keep one extra Short Sword in case my weapon gets melted, because once again, I've learned this lesson the hard way. Uh, with Leather Armor, I am going to buy one of those because it's amazing. And so there it is. We've got an extra leather armor. So half of our party is in leather armor now, which is good. And not just good. That's like really, really, really good. Other than that, it doesn't look like there's any rogue stuff down here, which is a bit of a bummer. 
kind of wish that there was, but there ain't. So what are you going to do? I'm going to move him up to here, and then we'll have him get a couple of HP back while he waits. Hopefully Forte gets a good roll. You got an okay roll. Not the best roll I've ever seen, but we're going to fight with this Bone Bard over here because he thinks he can jam on us. But like hell, he can. Distracted! I really like that ability. That ability is super solid. So with the called shot, an 18 critical goes out on the first turn. Another distraction. I like how he just rocks out. He's got like his guitar and he's like, meedly, 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 me. So you've got Piercing Blow, which does 19 fizz. Holy shit. And that's a one-armed weapon. That is a one-handed weapon. His resist is really good now, too. Oh, cool. We got the carnival ticket. That's fun. Probably not going to end up using it anytime soon, but it's still fun. I mean, it's still a good thing. So as far as the game is concerned, where does it want us to go? So we got to kill the Mine Lord. He's at level 7. We've also got to go down into the Lich's Crypt, which is a perilous descent into the Underworld. My suggestion would be that we just get on that. I'm going to start having people go in this direction, and we'll try to do the Lich thing. It's level 5. By the time we get over there, we'd possibly be like level 4. There's an abandoned village right here. Yeah, go check that out. It was okay. Wasn't my favorite. Like, we probably could have got a better roll right there, but... Eh. That's life. As far as that goes, you hurry up and retreat. Don't want you fighting anybody without the rest of the group here, just because getting separated and corralled into a fight when you're not ready for it can be... A pain. Ooh, a dead adventurer. Yes, please. Golden Root. Absolutely, I'll take some free Golden Root. Let's fight with some dire wolves. So with five damage out to Dupree right there, he's going to howl. I have no idea what that does. It says it drains you. I, I still have no idea what draining does. Oh, I can do a spread shot. That's pretty cool. Hadn't really considered it, but hey. One less wolf right there. One damage down against Forte. Get a little jam sesh off. I'm feeling good about this run. I am. I'm feeling okay about it. Uh, you do want to use your taunt, by the way. Your taunt can be really, really useful if you stack all of your damage on one guy. Like, I'm sorry, if you stack all of your armor on one person. It can be pretty good. It can be pretty good. So that guy's down. That's probably going to be a dodge. Yeah, I wasn't super faithful that... But, didn't have to be. I, was, I didn't have a whole lot of faith in the fact that he was going to be able to land that off of two hits, but... You take what you take. Uh, use the Scholar's Ward on him. It's an extra 9 XP. Why not? We'll also try to go to this Dryad's Lantern place, I guess. Sure. Fight more Dire Wolves. I don't care. It's all XP to farm to me. Like, the higher level we are by the time we get there, the happier uh, camper I shall be. So, you know, whatever you need to get done in between here and there, go ahead and do it. Hey, we got the splash, too. Very nice. And then we should be able to finish off the vampire bat just by picking at him a little bit. Just can't stop picking at him because we're mean like that. We're super mean like that. Dancing nettle. Use this herb while traveling to get additional action points. Sure. Hermit grass. Keep stacking that on the dodgy guy. Keep stacking it on the guy who's good at dodging. On this side, we have tribute for full focus. Yeah, do that because honestly, you need it. A new day has begun. There's a Thunderhawk behind us. Thunderhawk! On this side, there is a Thorbo, which is quite a bit better than a Barbat. There's an Herb Encyclopedia, which is one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. Basically gives you an endless supply. Ooh, a Performer's Hat, too. Yikes. We could really, really, really get him equipped well right now. Like, we could get him equipped really well. There's also Performer's Boots right there, which are pretty good. Damn. Sturdy Dagger does 15, huh? 
and it does damage based on, oh wow, that'd be a good mage's weapon, like a mage's holdout weapon, basically, because it does damage based on your constitution, and everybody in this game has reasonably decent constitution. That helm is dope as shit. That helm is super badass, and I like everything about it. That mace is also awesome. Sturdy dagger dough. That sturdy dagger dough. Um, get the Thorbo, just to get your damage up. That's the most important thing that he could possibly purchase right now. We'll sell the vest. We'll sell the barbat. That gets him back up to 43. We don't have the carnival unlocked yet, which means we can't even get it, so we might as well sell that for an extra 5 gold. With 48 gold... Not too many other things we can accomplish for right now. Oh, yeah, there's another quest that we were working on, huh? I forgot about that. Well, shit. Hmm. Oh, no one's nearby. Damn. Well, here, you take all of my gold then, because that gets you up to 66. We'll give you all 70 from our friend over here. What is that? Oh, we stumbled upon a dark cave. That's not too bad. A forest protector. Start a fight with all combatants in the area. Hell is a forest protector. Is he dodgy? Eh, not dodgy enough. Ooh, nice. Like 21 damage from that shit? You definitely don't have to ask me twice. Yeah, I figured he'd probably be dodgy. I don't know if you can only hit him with crits, but it looks like he's immune to lightning too. Oof. Good lord. Ah, well. Still killed him. You're still dead, and I still won. A Radiant Orb used to boost your party's resistance. Oh, cool. That'll be really nice to have, too, if that's just a flat boost. Is it just for the fight, maybe, that you use it on? I don't know. Could be, could not be, who knows. Meh. We shall try it next time. He's only got four move, unfortunately. Man, I'm going to be sitting down this goddamn forest forever, not accomplishing anything. Hmm. We've got a couple people that could definitely use heals. What'll that do? Ooh, the Sanctum of Courage. We should definitely use that on somebody. I'll probably use it on Leomon, just because he's in the roughest shape as far as gear goes. Yeah, give all your gear to him. I'm sorry, all your gold to him, because he's going to have the next turn anyways. And then what I'll do is we'll start right here, and I'm just going to have people rest and meditate while he handles all of his, like, shopping business and whatnot. He needs to go shopping! Orange mocha frappuccino. There we go, so perfect. Taken care of. You get into town, you're basically going to be our gear runner for right now. Town Guard Armor. Oof, that's tempting. That is tempting. So we have two options here. We can either make our bard super badass by getting him performer's boots and a performer's hat. Or we can get Town Guard Armor and we can give it to Leomond and that will raise his armor by three and his resistance by five. And he'll actually be able to soak a hit for once, unlike anybody else. That's a tough call. That's a really difficult choice, because that's a really great object to have. Uh, two resistance. What's he got going on? So his hat is a 1-1. One, one. His boots are 2-1. Performer's boots are 3-3. Three, three. So he get 3-3 three, three and 2-2, two, two, so he get 5-5, five, five, and right now he's got 3-2. So his resistance go up by 3 and his armor go up by 2, making him one of the best in the party. I'm just going to buy the town guard armor, and we're going to spread this around a little bit. I'm going to share the love ever so slightly. Forte, you just keep resting. Mm. 
Might as well. It's one of those times where, unfortunately, I just don't have the equipment to get this stuff done. So he's now adjacent. We will hand off Town Guard Armor to Leomond. He'll put that on in his next turn. We have a Dark Cave, which is a perilous descent to the Underworld. I'm going to take it. I mean, we're almost level 4. So I bet we'll be alright. Let's explore further. We got plenty of tents and stuff, just in case we need to heal once we get out of here. That dude's got a super ridiculous hat. Who do I want to kill first? I think I'm going to kill the witch first. Nice. Although she soaked that... Ow! She soaked that pretty well. Nice. So as far as you go... Drop what you can on the big guy. God, that was a hit. That was a really great hit. Like, an absolutely fantastic hit. 10 damage out right there, and unfortunately just wasn't enough. This dude's going to try and jack us and rob us at some point. I fought these dudes before, and he'll steal a bunch of your gold, and then he runs off with it, and you're just like, oh, you sack of shit. It's really upsetting. He steals like 50 gold at a time. I'm not even joking you. It's really, really upsetting. It's rage-inducing. I thought he was about to do it twice. I was like, dude, this guy just landed that shit twice here. There we go. We'll get him out of the way and hopefully he drops a whole bunch of cash for us because we love the stash of guap. That's what we want to get. He did. He did indeed drop a ton of money. Uh, Lockpicks are always nice. God's beard is always good because we did take some damage right there, so we might as well use that to square away some of what we lost. We found a vendor deep down beneath the earth. I doubt he's going to have anything that I want. But what we can actually do, I forgot, is I can put the town guard armor on you so that you are not sucking ass quite so much. So now we got 10, 9, 27, 10, 6, 12, and 11, 8, 11. Oh, this could get expensive. And also painful. Man, they are focus firing. These guys know what they want, and they are out to get it. Called shot away for 19 damage. Yikes. Perfect hit right there, so we're going to drop ourselves a thieve on the first turn. Please do not taunt. Oof. Nice. He looks dope in that armor. It looks like he's actually got, like, real armor on right now. So we need to stop him. He robbed us. So if we don't kill him, he's going to run away with our cash and we're going to look stupid. And I don't like looking stupid. Give me my money back. Still can't get rid of him, though. We tried. Yay! You turn it into a dodge. God, I love this guy. Distraction is the best ability ever. I think distraction is a large reason why we're doing so well right now. It really just messes with the opponent until they can't do much. 66 gold to everybody. Wow. Give that man some cash. I need you to use, like, smoke some God's Beard or something. And then you transfer another God's Beard over to him so he can smoke another one. This guy's just smoking like crazy right now. All day long he's smoking. Open that chair. Four books of lore? Really? Very nice. I guess it must be the amount of books is times the level of the dungeon, maybe? Very, very nice. Ooh, Chaos Henchman. That's a rough one. Maybe if we can ambush him, but I think they have, like, oh, eight armor. Okay, I fought one that I thought had 12 armor before, and that's what had me nervous. They hit hard, too. Don't doubt that for a second. These dudes hit like a truck. Luckily, they're pretty weak to magic, so if you got a decent magical weapon, you should hurt them pretty badly. And there you go. Hit him for 20, and I think he actually pierces armor no matter what with that weapon, so it doesn't even matter. Do you have anything good on him? Ah, I was hoping we could get his helmet or something like that. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, too. All right, and you're trying to get that 3 HP back. What is she? A druid. Okay.
Go ahead and get into a fight on this side. I'm glad we ambushed that guy, because I actually I think it probably would have gone poorly if we hadn't. I, I definitely think they increase the amount of gold you get from encounters. This is the first time playing through that I actually feel like I have money. Maybe I just got really, really lucky, but... I always feel broke in this game for some reason. Like, I always feel super broke. Go to... The shrine, I guess. You will devote. Get the full heal and raise your armor on up. Send you down to Fire Elm just to see what they got going on. Town market-wise, we have Guard Boots, which are 3 armor, 2 resistance, which is pretty good. Swamp Boots, which are 2 and 1, and they add to speed, which is pretty good. And we're going to have to go to a place with Hella Poison pretty soon, so that might be a good idea too. Town Guard Armor we can't quite afford yet, but I would like to swap more people into Town Guard Armor if we can. It's really, really solid, and it takes your stats up to like a ridiculous level. Hmm. Wow, that great sword looks really good though too. Two resistance, one magic damage, one focus, five health. A worn collar gives movement bonus and a little bit of speed. You know, yeah. You don't need the intelligence anyways, so you're carrying around a bunch of intelligence gear and that's kind of pointless. Sell that armor, sell off the rusty blades, sell off the old necklace. Not bad. Not bad, actually. I'm okay with it. As far as this goes, I'm going to keep him in town before we hit the Lich's place. In the town market, was there anything for you? Yeah, the performer's hat's probably a really, really good investment. Probably a smart thing to buy. Uh, buy that and equip it so that you get better at your job. So he's now got the performer's hat. He could afford the performer's... Oh, well, he's got plus four speed from that, though, too, and speed's pretty good, so we'll keep it where it's at. He's also going to entertain and get 28 gold for free. Man, that ability, though. we got a Thunderhawk over here, which actually shouldn't be too challenging so long as we don't end up shocked, which happened on the first turn. So what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. And then the beast died. I think they dropped something good, if I remember right. Like a thunder orb or something like that. Or they can. Like, they drop, like, an orb that if you use it in combat, it will deal, like, seriously. He drops an orb that if you use it in combat, I'm pretty sure it deals, like, 25 damage magical or something like that on your turn. And it's just an instant hit. Like, you don't have to roll anything or anything. You just use it, and it shocks, like, the whole battlefield. It's pretty solid. It's not a bad object. I'm gonna start taking him north, actually. And now that Dupree's got the cash stash, let's make a dash on over here. And you, sir, will buy some town guard armor and equip it so that you're at 1310. Very nice. He has leather armor, right? What does he have? He's also got a mage's hat, which we can sell for a decent amount of cash, too. He's got leather armor. Okay, so we can actually sell his pretty easily. I don't need the woodcutter's axe anymore, so we can get rid of that. I don't really know what else to spend my money on. Guard boots sound nice, though, because that would put him up to 12 resist, so... I'll keep the other boots just in case we go up against anything that has a whole bunch of freezing damage. Seems fine to me, though. Seems fine to me. Technically, we could have got him a greatsword, which does 26 damage, but he'll lose one armor and three resistance, and actually, I think that's serving him really, really well right now. His damage at the moment is not the problem. The problem at the moment is the fact that he just can't soak hits, and I want people to soak, 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 soak all day long like old dishes. All right, so for you, there's probably one last thing we can do in the town market. We can afford a great sword. We can afford a great sword. We can also afford another pair of swamp boots, which will become pertinent later. So we may want to do that. Hmm. I'm 
Might as well upgrade his pipe. I don't know. Sure. Upgrade his pipe a couple levels. Why not? Make his pipe more baller than everybody else's pipe that has ever piped before. And then we are on our way to fight a lich, which is going to be quite a problem. But my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Four the King. I will see you all in the next episode. I appreciate you stopping on in. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I really, really like this game. I could see myself playing it, like, long term. Strangely enough, I could see myself playing this game a lot. Because I like it. It's a good game. I think it's a game that performs solidly. Uh, yeah, that'd be a gnarly fight, but I think we'd be okay. Damn, he heals for 35 with God's beard now? Look at this guy over here. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.